when Julia Morris found out that she was paired with David Hobbs and she went, yay! And when she found out she had to do opera, she went, no! <laughs> but it is worth it. Now, this is the third It Takes Two final that Hobbo's shepherd a partner into. So, you know, she's with the right bloke. With the French Opera Carmen opening at Melbourne State Theatre last week, it was time for some first-hand lessons from the leading lady. To help Julia understand the subtleties required to sing an opera role such as Carmen, I thought it'd be a great idea to get some tips from the wonderful Pamela Helen Stephen, who is currently playing Carmen in Opera Australia's new production. I'll tell you what was fantastic was Pamela taking me through word for word. Uh, if you don't love me, I will love you. And if I love you, beware. Everything that Pamela was explaining to me was fantastic. Uh, you've got to find the freedom in your whole spirit to get up there and do it. You've got to be as charismatic as you can possibly be. I'm now thinking of retiring before the show. <laughs> The opera number is one of It Takes Two's toughest challenges. Carmen is a wild gypsy girl who attracts men like moths to a flame. In this scene, David plays the role of a besotted army officer. And if that's not life imitating art, I don't know what is. Now, please hold your applause as is customary in the opera. Hold your applause until the performance finishes as we present Julia and David with Habanera from Carmen. Would you like to step back here? <laughs> Extraordinary. I have no idea what you said, but it was amazing. Oh, it was all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think since uh, the Marx Brothers are not at the opera, <laughs> we're in the middle of the Trovatore, for those who know opera, where they broke into take me out to the ball game. Have we seen such a moment? <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> That was, that was actually quite difficult to do. I, I mean, was going to say, from a professional point of view, oh, look, explain to us. Well, you know, apart from the fact that it's chromatic, meaning she has to come down this scale in a very, very small increments, she's got to sing in French, she's got to phrase in French, she's singing way out of her chest voice into a head voice that she doesn't know, and, uh, yeah, trying to pull off a character. Yeah, I mean, ridiculously difficult. So but proud. I think she did a great job. Very proud of her. All right. And she held a, you know... She was very nervous. And as a comedian, I think tonight she's really, she really knows how difficult it is to be a singer and how difficult it is to be a performer. But as a partner, I can attest that she's been absolutely wonderful and I could not have asked for a more oh, lovely girl. Well. 
Yeah. Well, she did a great job. Yeah. You're not she out of it yet. Job. It sounds like a farewell speech. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, but that, that, was, a, that was a very tough thing for her to do, and uh, I applaud her for doing it. Okay. Amanda, what were your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hobson, a triumph. <laughs> and you, you've done it again. You know, last year we ducked for cover when you brought Mimi out to sing opera, and that could have been just as terrifying a big end, but no, it was fabulous. I tell you, raising your skirts to show us your pots and pans, love, <laughs> is not what we thought we were going to see. Bravo! Thank you. Marina. Bravissima, Julia. Oh, it was no, absolutely wonderful. You know, that is obviously opera is way out of your com comfort zone. But you know what? Your pronunciation and your placement was actually really, really good. You did very, very well. And just, yes, hello. <laughs> and just as you got to the top notes and we were getting really, really nervous, you lifted up your skirt and you showed us your rhythm section and it was all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we now know what's up your skirt. We don't know what tricks you got up your sleeve if you go through to the grand final. But don't tell us. Tell them why they should vote for you and get you right through to the oh, end. Oh, look, Australia, I think it's time that a nearly 40 overweight woman won something in this country. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> well done. Congratulations. The toughest challenge we set in this show. Well done, Hobo. Well mentored. Oh. She's banging her way out of the studio. Pardon her French and pardon mine because I'm about to use a four-letter word myself. Vote. Get to it as soon as the show's over by SMSing Julia to 1919. 77, Erica. Oh, keep her down, down there. I can't hear myself. <laughs> Tell me, does singing in another language give you a chance to just focus on the emotional journey of the song and the grand operatic gestures? I was just beside myself that I wouldn't reach any of the notes and that nothing would come out on the day, which is what happened last Wednesday when we went to rehearse. So I didn't no, care. Did as long as well. anything came out, we were fine. It all came <laughs> out just fine. Now, this is officially the last time we're going to cross to the judges before we announce who goes through the grand final. Wow. Judges, please. For our last scores of the night, Marina Pryor. You are a star. Nine. James Valentine. Show us your lids. Nine. <laughs> Amanda Pelman. It's an extra point because I'm 40 and overweight too. It's a 10. <laughs> and Ross Wilson. I love comic opera. Nine. <laughs> well done. Very good girl. Let's see where those scores put you on the Nicholas full-time leaderboard. <laughs> okay, sitting on top at 72 points, we have Russell and Kate. <laughs> Julia and David are on second place at 69 points. And Virginia and Ian are on third place, 69 points. As always, the judges do not have the final say. We still have to add your votes to, votes to decide who goes through to the grand final next week. Can I just wish you all the best wishes as a mentor from the uh, first series? Yeah. You're going to be sensational.